this is a pretty good ass episode. All right, so episode three, what if the world lost its mightiest heroes? I like this shit. This episode was dope as fuck to me. Yes. What about you? Same. Bruh. All right. Yeah, so we start off at uh, <laughs> at the donut shop over in a uh, good old Compton. No! All right, all right, all right. My bad. I was wrong, okay? Uh, and Compton is Dale's Donuts. And uh, Randy's Donuts that was featured in Iron Man 2 is actually in Inglewood. So I was wrong. My bad. Um, Tony was up in the donut, and uh, Nick Fury is like, yeah, I'm gonna need you to come down here and holler at me for a minute. So yeah, they they take that scene right out of the movie, and they start talking to Tony, and uh, they inject him with some shit, and he just collapsed like a motherfucker. He just died straight out. My mouth was open from go. <laughs> I was like, did they just kill this fool? Like, yo, that shit was crazy. Yes, it was. I, I was just thinking, like, what did she give this dude? Like, what did she inject into him? Like, uh, that doesn't seem very helpful at all, does it? <laughs> no, nah, because I was just thinking, like, damn, this has to be an accident. I mean, obviously, she didn't do that shit on purpose. That's what I was thinking. But it was just like, damn, you know, he just straight up died right there. And I'm like, okay, where they going with this? Then, I mean, who, who died next? I don't even remember. Hold on. Thor. That's right. And he was talking about um, him having, like, luscious locks or some shit like that. I don't know. That shit was kind of gay. And it was how they had Coulson. <laughs> yeah, no, listen, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. I just saw an article online. What? Somebody saying that the, the MCU kind of confirmed that Coulson is queer or something like that. But I'm like... Uh, man. Uh, uh, but he was just commenting on the guy's hair. Look, I don't know. It did sound kind of gay for him to be saying it the way he said it, but don't, don't, don't turn Coulson gay. Just leave him alone, man. Coulson is Coulson. Everybody no don't need to be gay. But anyway, that's a whole... No problem with, with being gay. No, no, we don't care. It's not a problem. It's just when you start making people gay who were never gay to begin with, that's when it becomes a problem. But that's a whole nother video. So um, anyway, yeah, Thor <laughs> gets taken out. And I mean, from what it looks like, Hawkeye just shot this motherfucker in the chest. And he's like, I didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? The first thing that came through my mind, I'm like, how does an arrow kill Thor? I don't I don't get that. He's Thor. But he just got pierced through the heart by an, a regular ass arrow. I mean, that this arrow has some kind of They didn't know he was from somewhere else, so they couldn't have prepared for Yeah, that's what I'm there. saying. I mean, well they I think they did know. You think? I well, think no, they They didn't know. They didn't know, but anyway, um this wasn't no special kind of arrow or anything designed to kill Asgardians. So, I mean, I would think that Asgardians would have tougher skin than that. So, but yeah, that shit was crazy. But after that, um, yeah, Hawkeye ends up dying because they took him into custody. He ends up dying in the cell and they don't know what the fuck happened to him. And they just like, damn, motherfuckers is dropping like flies on this episode and I'm just here for it. I got my popcorn like, bruh, this shit <laughs> is interesting as fuck because the basic idea is, you know, what is the world gonna do you know, about the coming events if there are no Avengers? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And they all dropping like flies and shit and I'm just like wow, this shit is crazy. What are your thoughts? I'm talking too much. Yes, you are. <laughs> That was a thought. My bad. All right. <laughs> Just saying. Go ahead and get your commentary. Anyways, so as far as the title, I think it's a great hypothetical question and episode. I totally was digging the voice acting and everything like that. I love that we got to see Nick Fury 
like more of him and his character. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I, I just, yeah. Ain't nothing like Sam Jackson. You know what I'm saying? Just talking. Yeah, he dope. I, 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 I just love his love character. That dude, his you character know? is dope. That's my guy. Like, <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. Um, totally glad that he didn't page Captain Marvel because I was going to be irritated. I started to, like, grit my teeth a little bit when he picked up that little pager. I was like... Do not. You hate her. You hate her that much. I just, I just really was <laughs> gritting my teeth. I was like, you better not go this bitch. But anyway, <laughs> like, like, totally glad that he didn't. So, woohoo! And uh, <laughs> <laughs> look, by the end of the episode, I wanted to see more of the story. You know what I'm saying? Like, what will lead on to it? Yeah. I definitely would love to see where mm. they would go with this. Yeah, can y'all I, just make a whole a whole series off of this? I mean, like that's a, a successful hypothetical that can you know I'm I'm down to go down that rabbit hole. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like that I would shit, love to see cool. more of this. That shit is all right. Do you have any uh, negatives on it besides the fact that uh, you don't think Thor should have got pierced? Uh, yes. Um, the Hulk. <laughs> the way that the Hulk got taken out, you know, um, him exploding into a pile of green goo or whatever, but, um, uh, it just wasn't clear exactly what exact, what caused the enlargement of his heart. Yeah, you know? that's, that's the one thing that they did not bother to explain exactly what happened to make him blow up like that. But, um, even if he did blow up, I mean, everybody knows that if he has one fucking cell left, he's coming back. His body will regenerate, and uh, he didn't regenerate, so whatever was in this uh, concoction that killed him, um, he had that shit figured out. Pim knew what I mean, to do. <laughs> we are talking about Hank Pym here, so. Pim knew what to do. Yeah, spoiler, Hank Pym is a murderer. This motherfucker is killing everybody. You need to say... The whole this whole episode that we're doing right now is a spoiler. I'm just saying. Oh, we already know that. <laughs> <laughs> we know. Yeah, yes. definitely. Spoilers like a motherfucker. Hank Pym is a murderer, a psycho killer, taking <laughs> everybody out, and I love it. It's dope. I think this shit is fire, man. They they need to really do an entire, even if it's just a season. Give us a season of him killing all these Avengers like this. Well, he already did, but. Where are they gonna go from here? Clint's dead. Hulk's dead. Oh, Natasha Romanoff? We didn't even see what happened to her. We just know she got her ass whooped. Mm-hmm. And, you know, she wasn't around no more, so obviously her motherfucking ass died. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, what about Loki? We didn't talk about Loki showing up. Totally was into that. Yeah, Loki shows up and I he's love that like. that guy too. Uh, hell yeah. Tom Hiddleston. Yeah, he was a much better Loki in this than he was in his own show, if you ask me. Yep. <laughs> I can I can totally concur. We never did an episode about Loki, but damn. There's a reason. I mean <laughs> uh, I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna go down that road because I will start talking about that show, but it wasn't bad. It just wasn't great. It wasn't what I wanted it to be. But anyway, he was a better Loki here. And he meant business when he came to uh, get vengeance for Thor or whatever. And um, he basically took over the Earth. So now Captain Marvel is here. And it's not Brie Larson. I should add some some yelling and screaming, some, you know, some cheering right mm-hmm. here. Huh? Mm-hmm. <sighs> <laughs> it's not Brie Larson. Yeah. Yeah. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> But it's not Brie Larson. Um, I'm glad that she wasn't there to save the day, but uh, it's cool or whatever to see with this new version that they put out of her. Uh, yeah, does, I guess. it'll be that should, interesting. That should be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see, you know, what they do with her. But um, And we know Cap is coming because apparently he hasn't been uh, he hasn't been thawed out yet. So, um he would, if they were to continue with this episode, he would be thawed out, and I guess they would have to make an, an entirely new team now because everybody else is dead. So it would be interesting to see what it, what they would come up with. So 
naturally, Cap would be a part of it. Um, obviously, uh, Captain Marvel would be there. And uh, they would have to get Spider-Man. Who else do you think they would get? You don't know. They would probably get a... Uh, why, am, why, why am I drawing a blank? Uh, Doctor Strange. What if they brought Doctor Strange in as an Avenger? And you know what? Vision Scarlet, is... Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch. Vision is still alive, I think. No, he's not. Vision is already dead. But this is a different universe, so... It's all, yeah. And this is before the Avengers even existed. Yeah, this is before this all is, of that shit. This, yep. They were in the middle of getting the Avengers program started. You know? Right, so, right. So everybody's every, every, Yeah, everybody's somewhere. Everybody's aware. <laughs> everybody's somewhere to be found. You know what I mean? Damn. So they could totally do whatever. Doctor Strange isn't even Doctor Strange yet, so they mm-hmm. wouldn't be able to get him. But um, they would definitely yeah, be, they'd able, be to... able to get the monk chick. Oh, snap. They can't get Vision. Tony's dead. And in the mm-hmm. movies, he oh, creates yeah. Vision. Mm-hmm. Oh, damn. I don't know. I don't they, know what uh, they would do. Hijack his his Jarvis program. They, I guess, could do that. Somebody yeah, else. That's a what if of my own, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, somebody else would have to create Vision then, I guess. But uh, damn, it would just be interesting to see where they would go. Yeah. From here and this episode, I'm I almost don't want to watch the next episode coming up because it's not this. But I guess we'll see. Any negatives? Nope. We already know what my two negatives are, but other than that, they are so minor. But other other than that, like I said, I don't really have anything else negative to say about it. I thought the episode was amazing. Yes, it was totally superior to the first two episodes. Yeah, the first one being cool. Uh, second one, hmm. It was just, uh... It wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. It just kind of coasted. Yeah. yeah. That was that was just star power. It was just being there. Put, put on. That was, that's all that was. That was an episode full of star power. It was a bunch of, you know... The best thing about that episode... Voices. Yeah, yeah. I would say the best thing about that episode is that we got a chance to, to hear Chadwick Boseman one last time, you know... I guess I technically would be his final performance, right? No. No? No. His final performance was in Ma Rainey's uh, Black Bottom. Oh, okay. But um. But it was good. But, to but this was his his last uh, T'Challa. His final Marvel I mean, project. Well, yeah, because um, apparently he's going to show up in a couple other episodes too. So. Oh well, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. So you know, what if was his last uh, T'Challa situation that he did? And it was definitely good to hear him back, you know, in the role of T'Challa. So, but other than that, yeah, man, I don't, I don't have anything else negative to say. The episode was fire. So, we're going to wrap it up and uh, peace. Bye.